Good day guys, being here. Uh, today let's have a play with this adaptive point orient, orient to option. Okay, so let's start. So first we're going to create some adaptive family. So generic model adaptive. And first place a point, make it an adaptive point. So now we will see these three color so red green and blue so what we're going to do is we're going to create a solid um, form with this color so first zero not zero point so first let's place a point draw a world plan set world plan pick this world plan and place it on the point so I'll move this so because because this direction is red, um, we're going to create this solid as red color. So is is red X? Um, maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> so okay, so create a spline using these two points, and then you can place a point, draw our face and place it on this reference line and then create a reference uh, maybe a circle um, or maybe a rectangle or maybe a rectangle uh, draw a world plan set a world plan place a uh, pick this a vertical world plan and just roughly draw a box okay so I'm going to select the point and the profile and the CC and select this point again, pick new host and pick this reference line again. So now if I select these two and I can create a form. So select this form, uh, we can play, uh, place a material. So I'll just rename it uh, red and change the color of this shading on the shading. So we just need to change the, this to shade it. Okay, so you will see the color. And then you just you can just ch uh, change this to one, change this to um, I'll I'll just use zero point two. Okay. <laughs> now repeat. We need to repeat. So if we need this direction and also this direction. So another point. Draw our work plan. Set our work plan. So this time, pick this work plan and place it on point one select this point so i'm going to type in a number so for number three meter and then select these two points and create a spline and make it a reference line and once again create uh, sorry place a point join face or ac actually let's try copy this so cc and and pick new host yes it works so once again cc and Oops, sorry, wrong one. Control Z. Uh, pick new host. So I'm going to place this to. So you can just drag this to this end and place this to same 0 0.2 something like that. And then you can select to profile, create a form, select this form, and give it a material. So I'm going to just duplicate, and this one will be green. Okay, so I'm going to just. Uh, Duplicate. So this, when you use appearance, just and if you duplicate material, and you need to change the material appearance, you don't forget to click on this duplicate this asset. Okay. So now let's change this to green and OK and OK. So now we have this green. And once again, I'm going to select the point and the reference point, uh, reference line, cop CC two of them, and I'll just place a point, draw a world plan, set a world plan, pick the horizontal world plan, place it here, and then just top in three meter up, and then select these two, spline, reference line, select this point, pick new host, place it here, pick this point, pick new host place it here so change this to 0 0.2 and change this to you can just drag this up so select these two profile create form select the perform 
and create a new uh, material. Duplicate, change the color. Okay, okay. So now we have this family. So um, still, I'm not sure whether this one's X or this one's X, but that I just let's just leave it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create six different. Um, so if I if we select this adaptive point and under this. And properties, you will see all these options orient to, and there are six different options. So we just need, uh, we're just going to uh, have a test. Okay, so have a test of all these six different options. So I'm going to save this as a family. So I'll call it um, X Y Z option one. Save, and then I'll save as. Option two, save as. Option three, oh, actually, I forgot to change the setting, but that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it later. Or maybe I'll do it now. I'll change the other one. I'll go back to change the other two, three, or two. So now it's going to be option four, right? Option four. So let's, so one, two, three, four. Let's use this one. Apply and save as option 4 and change this again change this to wrong one change this to global XYZ and save as option 5 and select this adaptive point and change this to the last one so this one will be option 6 so now I'm just going to open the three and change this set, select this point, change the setting to the third one, apply and save. And also open the option two and select this adaptive point and change this to the second one, apply and save. Okay, so now we have all six of them and now let's create a new uh, mass so we can place this adaptive family on it so for this mass I'm just going to quickly draw a, a few of reference lines so one two three and select them create a form and just do some adjustments so for example I'll just change this point um, something like this okay and then se select this uh, surface and divide it use divide a surface and in to make it uh, easier for my computer to work with I'll just change the now reduce the number so five five on uh, both Great. Okay, so and then you can select this surface, divided surface, and go check the nodes. So now we can place the family onto these nodes. So now let's have a look. So this is from option two, option three, option six. I'm just going to open option the 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 rest of the options. Option one. So we have one, two, three, six. So I'll just load and load and close. Okay, I'll load and close. Option three, I'll load and close. Option, oh sorry, option two, and now option three, and this is option six. So we still need option four and option five. So just let's open option four. Option, option five. Okay, so option, so this is option four, load and close, and load and close. Okay, so now we have all the options here. So if you go on the project browser, so you will, uh, they are generic models, so you will see one, two, one, two, six. Okay, so now what you can do is you can open this 
you can click on the the plus and then you can so if if you want option one you can try option one okay you can so now what we want to do is you don't need to uh, drag all of them you just drag you need to drag one because we can switch from the from here okay so now this is option one which is XYZ instance uh, uh, let me just open this family and have a look of have a look of the uh, options so instance XYZ which is option one so option one you will say so X uh, maybe this red is following the grid this grid okay so if I select this one and repeat and you will say so see this one it's always following this uh, I'm not sure if maybe it's U or V but following this direction the, the grid okay so you add some place it's not quite following but most of them see it's following this direction and then the green color the red color is following this the green color is following this grid okay so see this and the blue color which is i think it's z is perpendicular to the surface okay so see okay so now this is x y z which is the first option so let's have a look so the second option will be instance z then host x y so we just need to go here select this family so which is x y z option one and now I'll try, change this to x y z x y z option two so you will notice that there's no difference no difference um, and then option three no difference option four still no difference um, to be honest I usually I for use an uh, adaptive family I only most of the time I use option one instance XYZ and sometimes I will use option option five or six but I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure quite sure about the difference between option one and option two and three and four I'm not quite sure so if you know um, yeah maybe on the I think on the Autodesk uh, website there's some um, some description about all those app option but uh, I just um, I don't have time to read so anyway so that's option one two and three four they all look the same but now let's have a look of option five which is let's have a look up here what option five is this global x y z so now if i change this to option five and you will notice they are different so you will see all the adaptive families all the red color is facing there all the green color is sorry all the green colors are facing the that direction and all the blue colors are facing up okay so it doesn't matter so what your mass the shape of that so for example I'll change this if I change go down and then they, they are still the same orientation so facing the global X Y and Z okay so this is option 5 now let's have a look at option 6 and you will notice that slightly different um, it's not very obvious maybe let me just change this uh, change this mass 
a little bit so maybe we can tell the difference so I'm going to just uh, roughly change the shape of this mass and and see if we can make it clear clear okay so I'll select this one again change it back to 5 so as we can see 5 all the directions the same and then I change to option 6 okay let's have a look at the option 6 what's the name of the option 6 so global Z then host so okay so now let's have a look of this option 6 so from this we can say that the blue or the blue that is facing up which is Z so Z first which means Z first so that's why it's called the global Z then host XY and then let's have a look of the host XY so you will see the host XY means or the red color is following this grid and all the green color is following this grid but it's not actually it's not um, it's not very clear because you, you will see this here it's a bit of funny so it's not quite following there ah yeah it's following still yeah so if you rotate it a little bit you will see it's following that the grade the, the direction of the grid so for the option six so the Z which is blue is all the blue are facing the up direction and then the red and green will follow the grid direction okay so let's let's quickly change this to so let's have a look again so from six if I change to five change it to six change it to five change it to six change it to one so one which uh, actually <laughs> probably because the shape of my this mass maybe I'll oh, hang on let me just um, re reduce the sh the height of this mass and see if it will, will work better so maybe I'll just move this point there yep I think it's okay now it should be better so let's have another look so option six okay option six so as you can see the blues always pointing up the red always follow this grid horizontal grid and the okay the green the greens actually not following this grid but perpendicular to the red okay blue to the top red to the grid green perpendicular to the red and then change this to option 5 and all the directions are the same so right hand side top or no, 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 perpendicular and then go up all the directions the same and then if I change to option one so all the directions so X the red will follow this grid then the green will be perpendicular of course and then the blue will be perpendicular to the surface okay so of course and then because we can't see any difference between the two three and four so that's pretty much it so 
maybe that's three different options for us to use. Um, if if you, if you figure out what the option two and three and four, what they are, uh, uh, please let me know. Okay, so that's it. Um, um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.